Welcome to Mastering and Guide Learning Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone, here we have a, a very good uh, uh, hands-on experience case that there are a lot of clinical and practical uh, tips and points. I hope you enjoy it. We have a patient uh, 60 uh, years old due to uh, severe mitral uh, prolapse. They took him uh, for the mitral valve pale by robotic technique. As you can see here, posterior mitral valve has been repaired and fixed. After a while of procedure, a patient has some symptom, uh, tiredness, shortness of breath, and lack of the energy. We do uh, the it has been a steady uh, echo, and we got this uh, five uh, clips, as you can see. On the report, it mentioned the patient has uh, cardiomyopathy. Based on this, what do you think? Is that patient has cardiomyopathy or something else? Is coronary artery disease or no? Another things and another issue based on this. Uh, what about now if we added uh, these two uh, clips to previous one? Now still uh, you think the patient has cardiomyopathy or another reason? Patient had uh, didn't had any risk factor, any genetic family history of the any disorder. Now let's go one step more ahead, and we did uh, strain on the patient, and you can see the result. <clears throat> now, does this help us for differentiated between those two? Uh, pathology, cardiomyopathy or coronary artery disease, and how you can read this one, and what is the, based on this study, what is the most, uh, more accurate and detailed diagnosis for the patient? And the patient take a measure uh, left ventricular volume at the apical four, you can see this view, on this view, uh, pay, uh, take measure LV, uh, left ventricular diastolic volume 163 milliliter and in apical 2 measure 195. Is that uh, any of them are correct or wrong or not? Uh, and what is, the, do you think this discrepancy between these uh, two uh, view, apical 4 and apical 2? Any of them? is correct or not and how you explain and how you can fix this problem if it's wrong and the, if the patient body surface area be 1.9 does the patient has left ventricle enlargement or not again in the same patient uh, take measure aortic root uh, here four centimeter and on the report mentioned patient has aortic root dilatation. Uh, is that correct or not? Uh, how we, if it's not, how we can measure correct way? Now let's go for explanation. 